less than pleased if Frank Sinatra ever sleezed inside my door. Well, I love his voice, but he could not be worse as a choice of future son-in-law. Or regrets, I've had a few, but I'd sure get a kick from you if you could give him one from me. That would be swell. And he can start spreading the news that he'll be soon learning the blues, 'cause we can get along without him very well. Oh, I wouldn't mind it all if Humphrey Bogart came to call with all of his Rat Pack mates. Martin, Sammy Davis, in my view, would be okay vis-a-vis daughter dates. But all of that crooning and that swooning, all that fly me to the mooning, would so soon begin to get under my skin. So I don't care if he makes it in New York or in Sumatra. I'd never let my daughter out with Frank Sinatra. With Elvis, we'd be overjoyed. He's such a good God-fearing boy, though he could eat less pie. And Engelbert could come and flirt, provided he was single. Certain rules apply. Yes, and Tony Bennett, please. We love that nice and easy, does it? And his heart's in San Francisco anyway. So he'd represent no danger, unlike that certain stranger in the night who won't stop singing night and day. Ah,、oh, well, everybody says that's life, but how'd you feel if Mac the Knife came? Knocking at your door. Oh, and he's asking for your daughter's hand. Back noisily by Basie's band with Nelson Riddle score. And if she's smart, she'd run a mile at just the shadow of his smile. And luck would be a lady from that moment on. So I don't care if his kind of town's Chicago or old Chinatown. I'm never letting her out with Frank Sinatra. All right. Cause I'd never let my daughter out. What's that to be, to be, do about? I never let my daughter out. And put that hat on straight, you lout. No matter if I lived in old New York or in Sumatra, I'd never let my daughter out with Frank Sinatra. 